It is now December, and Norman has experienced several board meetings. He is still coming in for the orientation with Laura and Sam, as he feels it gives him a much better perspective on what to expect from board leadership, whom he perceives isn't really listening to staff and the community. Sorry, I'm late, you guys. I was held up in the parking lot talking to an irate taxpayer. <laughs> you know, we've been having these meetings for three months, and I still can't get here on time. Ah, uh, it's a holiday season. I think we're all running a little late right now. Uh, so. yeah. I'm interested in your parking lot conversation, Norman. Do you mind telling me who it was with? Well, I promised that I would keep it confidential, but he is a pretty big fish in this town, and he was <laughs> angry. Uh, seems he doesn't think that all the technology spending we've been doing is necessarily a good idea, and since I've been supporting that, he vented his frustrations directly at me. I, I, I told him, you know, not to worry. I said... He said that my coming on the board meant spend, spend, spend. And I, I told him not to worry. The, the board had been working on a technology initiative before I ever showed up. And that the district has plenty of money to, to, to deal with this technology issue. Well, uh, plenty of money might be a slight overstatement, Norman. Well, I just needed to calm him down. You know, I, I said nobody really understands the budget anyway, besides you and the business manager, so that he could just give you a call if he really wanted to. Well, I can't imagine he took that very well. No, no, not not so much. I, <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry, Sam, he'll probably never call. Um, <clears throat> I, I explained that there were a bunch of funds that we could tap into and that he shouldn't worry about it. But my main concern right now is not taxpayers, it's, it's the teaching staff. How so? Well, let me tell you, my, my neighbor... Tilly Teacher is absolutely frantic about all of this new technology that's coming in. She thinks that it's a clever scheme by the administration to force teachers her age into an early retirement. Now, I mean, to listen to her, you would think a typewriter is a modern teaching tool, but uh, I told her not to be so worried. I mean, the board isn't going to well, expect well, someone her age. You, you can't speak for the entire board on this, Norman. I mean, our policy is very clear. We want every teacher to maximize their learning opportunities. There's no age limit. There's no exemption. Sorry. Do you have the policy book memorized? Because I mean, that's all you do is quote policy. I mean, sure, our staff developmental policy says that, but it's just like any other policy. It's just putting a good face on things. It's philosophical jargon. Nobody believes that. <laughs> Let's slow down a minute here, Norman. It sounds like you've been having some pretty detailed conversations with Tilly. What exactly have the two of you been discussing? Well, certainly I can talk to a neighbor without sharing it with you, Sam. But since you ask, Tilly thinks the administration has been leaning on her lately. This, the principal shows up at her classroom often and sets these impossible goals. I told her I'm not sure the contract allows him to do that and that she should check into it. Now, she is a great old gal. And, and she was a teacher there when I went to school, and she did a fine job. She's not really up on changes, but then again, teaching art as she does, she's not really required to be. I mean, not, not much has changed with art. But uh, I think it's good that she feels like she can she can talk to me. And, and, and I think it's important that she knows that somebody on the board is on her side. Uh, Norman, there is some work being done there. I'm not at liberty to talk about it. Really, you shouldn't be assuring Tilly that the board is on her side. And besides, Norman, you were the one that was pushing forward on all the technology. Surely you're not going to start backing off on that now. No, of course I'm not backing off the technology. I'm just saying that maybe there are some teachers that are doing a good job, like Tilly, you need a little leeway, come a little slack. And that's exactly what I told her. And as far as some work being done, Sam, is that a euphemism for her getting fired? Because, I mean, I'm on the board. Isn't that something that, that I should be aware of? Norman, you're not going to know about every teacher remediation effort. Well, and that can be difficult to accept. I know that. Remember a while back we were having all those complaints about Igor Instructor? Well, at that time, I finally made Sam tell me what was going on. I got all the details, and I found out that the administration really was trying to do something about that. So my point is... Maybe Sam could tell you if there is a remediation program in place for Tilly. A remediation program. And that's what you're calling it. Well, it sounds to me like Tilly's right and this administration is out to get her. I'm going to ask for a closed session tonight. 
and I'm going to explain to all the other board members what's happening with poor Tilly. Uh, Norman, I think the open meetings law will have oh, a little come something to on, say about that. The public that. doesn't care. They think we're doing a good job. And if you're really concerned about the open meeting laws, then I will just wait. I usually have a nice discussion with a few of the other board members in the parking lot anyway. You know, hash things out, kind of a meeting after the meeting kind of a thing. And, and I'll just talk to them then. Or I could just email my concerns to everyone. You know, Norman, sounds like you're doing a lot of business in the parking lot. <laughs>